In an effort to increase and enhance its already robust efforts worldwide, the American Society of Clinical Oncology has launched ASCO International, an ambitious expansion of new programs, initiatives, and research opportunities. ASCO International will increase awareness, improve practice, and foster innovation in cancer care around the world. I'm very excited that we're able to double the budget and put forth many more programs for ASCO International. It's really, I think, a great thing for the world. It's a great thing for our members, and it's especially a great thing for our patients. For many years, ASCO has implemented international programs designed to improve patient care around the world by engaging ASCO's dedicated member volunteers, training of healthcare professionals, sharing oncology knowledge, and mentoring future oncology leaders. ASCO International will expand these efforts and launch new programs in several priority areas, providing instruction in aspects of cancer care to non-specialists in low-resource countries, linking members around the world in mentor-mentee pairs, expanding the International Cancer Corps program to help improve oncology services at more hospitals over the next four years, and offering international innovation grants that will promote cancer control solutions for developing countries. The Conquer Cancer Foundation of ASCO is offering the International Innovation Grant to provide funding for healthcare providers and researchers in low to middle income countries to develop programs that can reduce the cancer burden in their local communities while also being potentially transferable to other low or middle income settings. The International Innovation Grant being offered by the Conquer Cancer Foundation really emanated as part of our leadership development project, trying to come up with a sustainable way to make changes in resource-limited countries. Uh, the goal of this grant uh, is to offer funding to healthcare practitioners, ASCO members practicing in low- and middle-income countries. Uh, members who understand the challenges of cancer control in these countries the best and the challenge is to come up with innovative proposals that will address the needs of the local community but will potentially be transferable to other resource limited environments as well if proven successful. ASCO has already made significant strides toward connecting physicians and patients around the world through its numerous educational offerings and grants and awards programs that span continents. The International Development and Education Award, also funded by the Conquer Cancer Foundation, will continue to match early career oncologists in low to middle income countries with leading ASCO members in the United States or Canada who serve as scientific mentors. Personally, it, it, it brings me closer to what is happening uh, at the topmost level in oncology and uh, I get to know a mentor in the United States who will be, uh, whom I will be with in contact with for the rest of my life to develop my career and to uh, take some advices regarding you know, developing my own practice and overall helping our people in our part of the world. ASCO International will provide a framework for ASCO members to share knowledge with and learn from other doctors and nurses throughout the world in order to benefit all cancer patients regardless of geographic boundaries or socioeconomic status. The fact is that a substantial proportion of members of uh, ASCO and participants at the uh, annual meeting come from other countries other than the uh, North American continent. The brand name uh, ASCO has gone beyond those geographical limits of the United States and, and Canada. And people, they do not think of it as an American organization. Um, they see it more like the primary clinical oncology society uh, in the world. And that's why uh, people want to join and uh, they want to contribute. ASCO International is committed to being on the forefront in helping to address the global cancer crisis worldwide. The majority of cancer cases now occur in low and middle income countries, and two thirds of cancer deaths do also. There is an urgent need to address this problem. 
I really look on global healthcare as a collaborative effort because there are many issues in other countries that you know, are not the same for each country. So it's really important that we all work together, we learn a lot from each other, and we can bring all of our knowledge to the table.